Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Vincent Obita and I want to welcome you all again to this session. I want to thank you again for being always uh, supportive and to watching my videos, subscribing and liking. I really appreciate. Now, today we are going to cover uh, one of the professional values and that's uh, uh, drug error. It's one of the issues that usually erupt uh, during uh, even the interviews when you are getting into your recruitment for the jobs and it's also one of the values that you will have to make a submission during an uh, your OSCE examination. Now it's just one of the professional values, there are other values and in, in terms of these submissions it's a written submission. You will be given a scenario, yeah? Then out of that scenario, you are supposed to write in first person and determine what you as a nurse you will be able to do to counter uh, such an occurrence. Now, in terms of drug error, uh, these are occurrences that are undesirable and this is just one way uh, a nurse is being trained to ensure that such occurrences does not appear in the in the work setting to ensure that also the patient is safe at all time. So in terms of drug error, you might find a scenario such as um, while you are doing your bedtime background uh, as the primary nurse to the patient, you just noticed that the patient was given uh, maybe amoxicillin at the evening round, uh, despite the fact that the patient have been documented to be allerg allergic to penicillin. Uh, also, while confirming with the patient, the patient has confirmed uh, that um, that they are allergic to that medication while you are doing your safety check. Uh, you've also recognized the signature of the nurse who gave the medication that the patient is allergic to. Uh, no other person has noticed uh, that uh, uh, that information and you are the only other nurse who have attended to the patient following such administration. How will you approach that situation? That's basically how that scenario will appear. Now they might twist it in one way or the other but all uh, all taken into account is the fact that this patient has had a medication they are not supposed to have. Now how will you go about that? While making your submission there are things that you need to cover and you will make them in writing and this coverage depends on the nursing marking criteria that you are supposed uh, to have gone through. Now, your submission will be in bullet point and you will be capturing what exactly you will be doing. Now, while noting your submission, take care of things like um, uh, I will act honestly to reflect the duty of Condor to put the patient's safety first. Just, uh, just a simple uh, statement structure that just to ensure that you will recognize what has occurred. Uh, I will also do a set of observation just as a baseline to ensure that the patient is safe despite the ingestion of the medication which was earlier given and uh, uh, report to the nurse in charge and the doctor and seek advice depending on the outcome of that uh, set of observation. I will also advise the nurse responsible to apologize to the patient. That's just show how remorseful the and undesirable the situation was, and also recognizing that such occurrences do, uh, do happen and it's a human error. By apologizing, you recognize the fact that you made a mistake. You need also to capture the fact that uh, you will uh, report the incident to the nurse and acknowledge uh, the error and take it as an, a, learn a learning opportunity, looking onto the reason why it occurred and also to prevent a repeat of the same. Yeah, that would be very key at that moment. I will write uh, an incident report stating the date, the time and the occurrence and the actions that you've taken since uh, you recognize that 
that uh, occurrence. In terms of timing, that will be key not only in terms of monitoring the patient, but also in learning and also creating maybe a, a, a debrief to ensure that such occurrence does not reoccur. Uh, you will finally state that I will uphold the standards of nursing profession and act according to the values of prioritizing people. Uh, preserving safety, practicing effectively, and pro promoting profession, uh, profession, uh, professionalism and also trust. The, 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 these values, you have to state them because that's what the marking criteria need and ideally that's what ought to happen. So in that, in that, uh, in that submission, you need to include all these values and with that one, you would have passed one of the stations, which is the uh, station of uh, professional values. Thank you for your watching. And in, in this series of uh, professional uh, values, uh, kindly check, check all the videos that we will be submitting. Continue subscribing, continue liking and watching and sharing and continue passing your OSCE. We wish you all the best for those who are taking your OSCE and welcome to Band 5. Thank you and have a nice time. Bye.